What's up YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Ibrahim and I am a first year graduate student in physics. So I thought about making this video to review my first semester in grad school and maybe another video once this semester is over. And it probably has good information for people who are about to enroll in grad school or want to apply. Uh, just gives you a feeling of what it's like to be a grad student. So the main thing you do in your first year as a grad student is you take classes, you teach if you don't have external funding, and you either do research or you start looking for research. So let's start with that number one, which is taking classes. So in my first semester, I took three classes, um, e and uh, quantum field theory, and stat mech. So let's look at the first class, which is electrodynamics. Pretty much all first years have to take this class, um, unless maybe you've taken it in undergrad, but I know very few people who have actually taken graduate level electrodynamics in undergrad. So most first years take this, and we used the Notorious Jackson, which I'll probably make a separate video on. I didn't really learn much in this class because uh, most of it I've seen in undergrad. Sure, maybe we went uh, into detail on some things here and there, but for the most part, it was basically a review from undergrad. Uh, for me, maybe for other students, it was new stuff. Um, but we did use Jackson, and Jackson is just notoriously difficult to read, and the problems are sometimes um, just too hard. But luckily, the professor made things easier because he had good notes, he gave us hints on problems, he wrote his own problems that were actually instructive. So overall, I think it was a good class, um, but I did not learn that much. So the second course was statistical mechanics, and for the first half of the course, we basically reviewed everything you would take in undergrad. Uh, but that was nice because when I took StatMech in undergrad, uh, it was half thermo, half StatMech, but I didn't actually learn that well because the book we used was just terrible and the teaching was not the best. Um, so it was nice to review the first part. For the second part of the class, we had to learn about non-equilibrium StatMech, and that involves like statistical field theory, mean field theory, Landau theory, uh, order parameters, and phase transitions. And then we have to give a final presentation on a topic that involved phase transitions. So I chose to do a phase transition in inflation because why not? I mean, I love cosmology. I think overall the course was good. Uh, for the first half, it was a nice review. And for the other half, I learned new things, uh, especially the things about order parameters, which you never actually learn in undergrad. And you always wonder, you know, what characterizes an actual phase transition? So the third class is quantum field theory. I was not actually registered for quantum field theory. I was registered for quantum mechanics, but, uh, I sat in quantum field theory because I was interested. I was like, ooh, what do they learn in QFT? And then after speaking with a few grad students, I sort of knew I had to actually take QFT if I want to do the research I wanted to do. And so I dropped quantum mechanics and then I sat in, actually registered for QFT. And so that's how I ended up with uh, QFT on my schedule instead of quantum mechanics. So we used the uh, standard book uh, by Peskin and Schroeder, uh, Introduction to Quantum Field Theory, I think it's called. And initially I found it really hard to follow because I had no experience with, you know, tensor notation and uh, the second part of electrodynamics, which is usually a requirement for QFT. So I found it hard to follow, but then at some point it sort of clicked once I got used to all the machinery in quantum field theory. And suddenly I found myself very comfortable doing calculations. Maybe the class got easier and I just felt that I understood it. Who knows? But I actually learned a lot in this course. Uh, pretty much everything I learned was something new. Uh, for example, the Dirac equation or say Pyman diagrams. All of this was new stuff to me. I have never seen it before, uh, but it was also fun at the same time. And the professor was great at lecturing. He would give lectures as if it was some sort of performance. And at the end of the lecture, I used to get the feeling that I have to clap now because of the amazing performance. Uh, so that was fun. The thing about this class was that you had a six hour final. So you take the final, you sit down for six hours, you solve these problems that the professor gives you, and then you have to turn it back in. And as a chess player, this is, a piece of cake for me. I sit for six hours playing chess, no problem. So this was no big deal. But overall, the class was an A plus, I'd say, because of how much I learned and because of just how well it was taught. Oh, and I actually forgot there's actually two more classes that I took. Uh, they're like baby classes. 
The first one is the mini colloquium uh, that every first year has to take. And basically what it is, is you have professors that come in every week and they give you a short talk on their research. Hopefully they can attract grad students and at the same time, they tell you about their research so you can go find a research advisor. So half the talks as usual were uh, hard to follow, they put you to sleep, and then the other half are the things you're actually interested in and you actually enjoyed. So overall, that was an okay class. And then the second course that I forgot was actually an ethics and research course. And this is a course that, again, all first years have to take because they have to teach you common sense and how to do research. Um, but it ended in like seven weeks, so that's fine. All right, so the second thing I wanna talk about is searching for an advisor. Now, other students already had advisors, they were working with them, but uh, almost, I'd say the majority of us did not actually have a set advisor yet. So we had to go look for an advisor. And my hunt for an advisor in my first semester was very limited. I maybe emailed a professor uh, a few times and that was it. Uh, I said to myself, oh, I'll look for an advisor in my second semester, uh, which is now. And luckily I did secure one, uh, but I feel like I should have searched early on. So advice to my uh, past self is you should have looked for an advisor early on and you should have asked around what you had to take in order to do such and such research. All right, so the third thing I wanna talk about is teaching. And pretty much all first years have to teach if they don't have external funding. Uh, so like a fellowship, the NSF uh, has this NSF GRFP fellowship that people usually have and so they don't have to teach. But for most of us mortals, we do have to teach. That's how we get our funding. So I had to teach a mechanics lab for pre-meds. You know, I had to go to the lab, make sure everyone's doing the experiment properly, uh, answer their questions, write the quizzes, and you know, the usual. So the things I did not like about teaching were the grading, which took a lot longer than I expected. And the other thing was my shift, which was four hours straight. And by the end of it, I, uh, would have to drink a lot of water because I couldn't talk. But on the other hand, there's of course uh, a lot of upsides to teaching, especially when your students finally learn something and it clicks for them and they're like, oh yes, and you have this joy on your face like, oh yeah, I, I helped you with that. Uh, but in your mind, you don't tell them that. So uh, teaching is fun, but at the same time, uh, you have other responsibilities that sort of balance it out. And I tried to make the lab fun to varying degrees of success because you know, these students are not physics majors, so uh, they may not have the most enthusiasm for the class. But, you know, I tried and hopefully I got some of them to enjoy the lab. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what other content you'd like to see in the comments and give it a like, share it, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.